So I got more bad news for everyone who cherished that magical cinematic era that was the 1980s. Hey guys, it's Comic Book Girl 19, and there have been stories, speculations, and rumors for years that they've been making another Gremlins sequel. In fact, they've been considering making another one since Gremlins 2 came out in 1990. My favorite blog for all things horror, Bloody Disgusting, learned exclusively that the Gremlins 3 sequel is officially dead, and now Hollywood assholes are going to reboot the franchise instead. The screenwriter who is behind Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter and Dark Shadows is set to likely all over our childhoods with a reimagining of Gremlins. Now I could totally get behind a Gremlins sequel, but not a reboot, because in a reboot, the makers feel like they have to alter the source material to make it fresh and new. That means that instead of keeping the original creature designs, which can't be improved upon in my opinion, they're gonna change the look of the Gremlins and the Mogwai. No thanks. Now it's possible that they could do it right, but the practical side of my brain is telling me that this will likely be a bastardized version of Gremlins. The original Gremlins was so awesome because they used puppets, and nowadays all the puppeteers have been put out of business because of the overuse of CGI. And I know that they're totally just gonna use CGI to make the Gremlins, and they're totally gonna look stupid, and for God's sake, just use puppets! Like, that's what makes the original so charming. And if this doesn't bum you out enough, it gets worse. This writer seems to be dead set on ruining everything we hold dear. In fact, he's turned in a script to Warner Brothers that he likes to call Beetlejuice 2 and that I like to call F*** you Hollywood. Really? Beetlejuice? Really? There is no reason for anyone to touch that perfect film with their dirty little money-grubbing hands. Along with Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice was one of my top favorite movies when I was a kid. It was bizarre, it was unique, it had ghosts and monsters, it made me laugh, and to this day, it is just one of the most completely weirdest movies you will ever see in the best way possible. It totally holds up if you watch it again. In fact, I recently saw it again at the Arclight Theaters, and it was awesome. Beetlejuice is sacred in the book of CBG-19. I had the coloring book growing up, I watched a shitty cartoon show, I wanted to be Lydia Dietz more than anything in this world, and I am so depressed over this news and I seriously don't know how much more of this I can take. In the wise words of Patrick Bateman, we all need to just say no to this. We don't need to see these films, we don't need to support them, don't take your kids to go see these films, instead, why don't you get your kids to watch the original ones? It's up to us. That's it for today. Make sure to let us know in the comments below how you feel about all this mess, and make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you're tired of seeing your childhood raped as much as I am. I'm Comic Book Girl 19. Make sure to subscribe to Cinefix for more news on the continued plunder of all your favorite childhood memories right here on Screen Addict. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.